All right, so if you are still manually tracking your masks in Adobe Premiere Pro and wasting hours and hours on this, you might want to watch this. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can automatically track masks in Adobe Premiere Pro in just a few minutes. It's going to be a very simple and straightforward video, so I hope you will enjoy. My name is Vince. If you are new to the channel, I teach people video editing and how to get clients for creative work and coaching businesses as well. And yeah, let's get right into the tutorial. So as you can see, I have this amazing stock footage footage on my uh, Premiere Pro timeline of Caucasian man walks in town. Uh, that's the best I could bring for you guys for this tutorial. Sorry about that. But uh, anyways, let's get right into it. So I am going to first create a mask. So we actually have something to track. So what I was kind of thinking about is I want to brighten the face of this guy a little bit on this footage. So how do you go about doing that? How do you only make the face bright? Well, here's how you do it. Uh, and just so you know, like this can be applied uh, for pretty much any effect that you can create a mask for and not only faces, but other objects as well. You just need to make sure that the object kind of stands out from the crowd or the, or the shape that you are trying to track, um, you know, stands out from the background because otherwise Premiere Pro will have a hard time tracking it automatically for you. But most of the time it will do a pretty good job, but you know, just don't expect it to always be flawless. Anyways, so I'm gonna apply Lumetri color to this clip go to my effect controls, come here to Lumetri color, and I will click here on this create ellipse uh, mask, right? So now I got that. And now I'm going to make it the shape of this guy's face. So just like that, we are uh, done with that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to feather this mask. So I will feather it a little bit so it doesn't look too harsh on the edges. Now, after that, I'm going to do the actual brightening of the face. So I'm just going to go to basic correction. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring up the exposure a little bit. So not too much, just like this. So if I go and see the before and after, it's like that. Maybe this is a little bit too much actually. So let's do like, let's do, let's do just one. Okay, cool. So this is the before, this is the after. Now, the next thing you need to do to do the actual automatic mask tracking is come here to your mask and then come here to the beginning of the clip that you are trying to uh, track and then click here on track selected mask forward. And now basically Premiere is tracking the entire clip that you have selected and it's going to create keyframes for every single frame of the video and try to follow the certain, you know, object or face that you have in your mask as well as possible. Again, it's not going to be completely flawless, but you can still save so much time using this technique that it's always worth giving a shot in my opinion. So our tracking is almost done. Uh, let's just wait for this progress bar to finish real quick. And here we go. As you can see, it created a, a ton of different, um, you know, little keyframes if I go through this clip. And now if I go ahead and play this back or just scroll through it, you can see it followed the, pre the face pretty freaking well. So if I go ahead and play this, this is kind of, you know, what we got. Um, you can see it looks quite good. And if I go ahead and mute the, um, uh, you know, the effects, this was the before and this is the after. So I think it did a pretty good job. Um, so like I said, it's uh, simple as this. You literally just click on this button. And obviously if you need to adjust things later down the road, you could go ahead and like, you know, manually adjust the mask, but um, you know, it works pretty well most of the time. So hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. If you want to see more content like this, check out my channel. Or if you are a beginner and trying to master Premiere Pro, check out my masterclass in the description. And I hope you enjoyed.